Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Just got back from the bar. I'm down in Florida still. Got a couple of chicks numbers. And by couple, I don't mean two lesbian chicks that are in love with each other as well as me. But I wish that was the case. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> nothing too special going on here. Um, by the way, this opening route, I want to point out really quickly. If you throw a couple stun grenades over there, I used flashes in this video. It's better with stuns, though. You can stun them as a cap, uh, cap A. Stun them right on the flag, and as you come around that corner, they'll still be stunned there. And you get, I've got multi kills, you know, a couple triple kills. You'll probably see that in my montage whenever it does come out. But, uh, anywho, um, got some, some things I want to bring up today. One is hopefully D Treats, that is opted D Treats, me posting my video up. Um, I messaged him a couple months back, and he said he was going to post it, but he has not been very active on his channel, as I'm sure you guys know. And he finally got back to me saying, you might want to post it. So uh, I'm waiting for the response back. It's been about one day, so we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, another thing, kind of deep. Um, my brother's got HSP, which is Heinlich Schilin Purpura, which is some disease of the blood vessels, blood, blood something, I don't know. Anyway, he's got swelling, swelling in his legs, and you know, it's pretty screwed up. Uh, fairly bad for the dude. He's a trooper. I should be the one that has it. I mean, I'm the guy that has <laughs> screwed up my life already. Well, I haven't really, but, you know, I mean, I've already done enough that I probably deserve it. So I feel bad for him because he's such a nice guy, but, yeah, what can you do? Uh, I'm rooting for him, though. Hopefully he'll make it. Uh, it's not very lethal or anything, but definitely does not help out the morale. Um... Anyway, uh, what in the hell did I, I wanted to bring up? Oh, right, yeah, okay. Uh, I wanted to bring up um, how I got expelled the second time. I know a lot of people were excited for that. And uh, it's not that long of a story. And this fucking douchebag with his freaking tactical insertion. I guess it wasn't him. I guess it wasn't that guy's tactical insertion. But anyway, uh, my second time, I was at a boarding school, and I hated it to hell, so me and my friends decided to steal, sto steal sodium metal. If you guys don't know what sodium metal is, it's um, it's a base element. It's like, you know, it's pure sodium. Um, anyway, I was in the science lab one day, and I saw this ghetto-ass-looking metal tin, and I was like, oh, so what could this be? And on the side of it, it says, danger, explodes on contact with water. And when I saw that, I had to steal it. <laughs> I took that, jacked it, and uh, me and my friends decided to go into the bathroom one day, and we detonated a toilet bowl. <laughs> and before you say, oh, it's just, you know, it's some science lab shit, it, we detonated the fuck out of this thing, man. Like, we, we dropped the hole, it was like, <laughs> a pot, like if you, if you put open your palm fully and like grab it it was like you know as big as a baseball amount of sodium and we threw it all into a in the toilet bowl it immediately um engulfed itself in flames and within a few seconds completely exploded blew the toilet bowl all over the place water started gushing out of this thing extremely fast um it was not it's not a pretty sight um yeah, so it ended up detonating the toilet bowl, and unfortunately for me, we, we ran, all of us obviously ran out of the bathroom quite pretty. God, I can't speak. We all ran out of the bathroom pretty quickly. Um, all my friends ran to the right, and I ran to the left, and unfortunately, at the left was where gravity pulled pulled itself because all the water, like there's a giant flood of water coming behind us. I ran to the left, and <laughs> there's a giant flood following right behind me, and I was like, oh my god, what am I going to do? I like ran all the way down there, and I couldn't, uh, couldn't keep up with the water coming behind me, and anyway, um, sure enough, <sighs> I got sus sus suspended, and then eventually expelled from the school for this, and I don't think I should have been expelled, that was just a normal thing to do, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Definitely deserved it at that time, at least. I mean, if there's a way to go out, yeah, that's definitely up there. I don't know how many stories you guys have heard about getting expelled, but detonating a toilet bowl's got to be up there. But, um, yeah, so uh, I've been having a good day. I'm just drinking some mojitos and some Coronas, trying to get my drunk on. Um, one of the girls said she wanted me to call her back right now, and I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Although, you know what? 
if you guys are, uh, I don't know, I'm guessing a lot of you guys are younger, probably not on the whole, you know, bar dating scene and whatnot. If I can give you guys one tip is if a girl just like gives you a number and she's like, hey, give me a call tomorrow. Don't give her a call the next day. You know, wait an extra day because then it feels like, I mean, if you give her a call like before the time she gives you, then it feels, like, you know, you're desperate for a woman, like you're really desperate to get her. And she probably won't be as likely to, you know, call you back up. Whereas if you wait a day or two, then it feels, then she's all worried like, oh my God, maybe he doesn't want to, he doesn't like me. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to call me back. And then you call her. And she feels like, oh, this guy's really important. You know, he's busy. Like, you know, <laughs> he's he's uh, worth my time. And trust me, it, it's kind of counterintuitive, but it works out really well. It's it's the same way with talking to a girl. I mean, a lot of guys think, oh, you have to go up to a girl and be like, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. Like, you're so pretty and everything. Quite the opposite. I've never bought a girl a drink before. I would never do that. I mean, if I've had girls come up to me, like, think I'm a good-looking guy or whatever, be like, so you're going to buy me a drink or what? And I'll be like, are you kidding me? You can buy me a drink if you want. I don't know. <laughs> and then that makes it seem like, you know, um, they they think that you're the important one. You know? They think you're the hard catch to get. And you're more likely to fuck, be able to, you know, get in bed with the girl quicker. Because, I mean, if you really suck up to the girl, you know, buy her a bunch of drinks, buy her a necklace from the first fucking date or something, then, yeah, she, you know, she probably will like you, go out with you a while, but then... <laughs> you might be lucky if you had sex with her in the first month and then you get put into, you know, long term, oh, I'm gonna marry this guy kind of status. I mean, yeah, if that's what you're out for, then good for you, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of in for the, you know, the quick one night stand, whatever. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be placing these ideas in the minds of the youth because God knows what would happen. <laughs> anyway, uh,. This is probably my favorite map. You guys are probably wondering, oh, Big Busy, stop posting fucking games on WMD. All I see is games on WMD. But that's because this map is probably the most balanced, in my opinion. I mean, it's arguable that the C side is uh, a little bit more advantageous to spawn on. If you think about it, the A side spawns closer to that middle building, which is a huge advantage, while C is, has an advantage in that uh, you look down from a height upon A. But anyway, guys, um... I don't really know. I shouldn't say I hope you took something because there's not really much to take from this commentary. But anyway, have a good one, guys. Peace.